Okay, yesterday we had left off with talking about the three different types of cells in plants and the, the main idea we wanted to come home with that was, okay, parenchyma, colenchyma, and scolenchyma. Okay, we said keep your peas together, parenchyma, deal with metabolic functions, more commonly the leaves, and deal with, uh, again, metabolic functions, so keep your peas together with photosynthesis. Then uh, sclerenchyma is a type of supportive cell tissue, and the reason we say that is keep your S's together. The secondary tissue, known as scler sclerenchyma, would perform that function, and finally that leaves a colenchyma. Okay, and then we talked about the different types of uh, uh, tissues in the stem. There's xylem and phloem. They have their assorted functions, moving uh, water from the roots up to that of the leaves for photosynthesis, and then once them sugars are made, sending those sugars back down through the stems into the roots of the phloem tissue to be stored then. Okay, so we move forward dealing with uh, different types of roots and I know there's, uh, if you're watching the state basketball tournaments, they show a, a picture of a farmer, I want to say it's by Parkston, and he's talking about breaking up the soil and he plants radishes as a cover crop. Now, what the extent of that would be, I'm really not sure, but one of the aspects that he says is it helps break up the soil. Well, what would happen with that is going to be a type of root system that does that. Those would be uh, what you could call like your tap roots because radishes, as we know, you would pull them out of the ground and then cut some of the parts of the roots off and you might wash them off and just eat them them whole then. Okay, so those are what we consider tap roots. Okay, and in this root, fibrous root system, just and it would be a type of tissue that spreads out. Okay, and one of the aspects that that's going to do then is actually uh, increase the surface area. Okay, and that would be known as root hairs that would do that. Okay, so that's going to increase the surface area for water to be absorbed. And then this root cap, okay, it's a protective covering, as you can see, that would push through the soil. So what these tap roots essentially do, and why he's planting these radishes is, again, to help break up probably compacted soil. And I think that's a, a growing trend in farming now, is trying to combat that of uh, compaction. And one of the uh, things that you would see that many large farmers have probably went to is taking a lot of their large tires off and putting tracks on there. Same amount of power, of course, but you're increasing that surface area, and that would distribute the weight for a lot of these large pieces of equipment, whether it's a combine or whether it's a, uh, a large tractor to pull a cultivator behind it or planter or whatever type of implement you would be moving through the field with. Trying to, again, fight compaction. That's one of the uh, big trends, I believe, in agriculture that's happened within the last 10 years, okay? So, in, in, uh, in a review, don't forget we have lateral stems and uh, apical meristems, and uh, these are just different types of structures that we want you to continually think about, and these stems we're referring to, which you see here, lateral, going out from the middle, then these apical stems, okay, occur at the tips and the roots. So these would be types of structures, growth that occurs at the tips of the stems and especially the roots. And that would be an example of this root cap then as well. That would be the types of cells that would uh, be promoting that, uh, that growth, okay. Then, as you can see, we're about ready to wind this down. We said we we're going to try to keep this chapter just as short as possible. And we're covering the uh, information that's uh, uh, what we feel is most important. And what we see here, as you can see, node and inner node are different vocab terms that you see that are in your vocab lists. Okay, we will be having an assignment for you uh, to work on. I believe it will be handed out on, on either tomorrow or Thursday. I'm not quite sure of the dates and times, 
We have a shortened schedule tomorrow because of in-service. It'll probably be on Thursday. We'll hand that out to you. First vocab quiz goes from, I think your first term was uh, one of your cells, either parenchyma or colenchyma, and goes all the way through, um, I, don't, I don't think it's meristems. I'd have to look for sure. So I believe it goes all the way down through, please bear with me. to paracycle, I believe. So your first vocab term is uh, parenchyma and goes all the way down through uh, paracycle. Now, that may or may not be on both quizzes. What that means is you're gonna have your general 15 questions and 17 terms. That's why we're saying goes all the way down to paracycle then. If I'm not mistaken, that is probably just about it. So again, big, Big uh, concepts to take home, your three types of supportive cells, three main parts of plants, the roots, the stems, and the leaves, and they each have their assorted functions, and then what it is that you would find within those structures, especially uh, the lateral meristem where it grows out from the middle, and the apical meristem, as you can see here, grows at the tips and the, of uh, the stems and roots. What root caps is, is pushing its way through the soil. And then finally, root hairs is what's going to help grab more water to then increase that surface area for it to be uh, taken in for photosynthesis. And that's what we're referring to right here, these root hairs. OK, so that does it for what we want to cover in this chapter. Hopefully, we made it through just as painless as possible. So again, papers will be handed out on Thursday. Uh, I would be led to believe they would be due on Tuesday. That would be April 2nd then. So your first set of uh, 17 terms, 15 questions, 17 terms, will be on Thursday, and then the rest on Friday. We've got this chapter wrapped up, and later on next week, we will have an exam over this and then get on to the mammals. Okay, so that is it for today. We'll catch up with you next time.